world. <clears throat> Chatty Dad One coming at you. Um, searching for the truth as much as it can be found. Some uh, interesting things that I've discovered. And it ain't working for me now. I don't know why. Oh, here we go. Police and Security News is proud to be the official media sponsor of the Police Security Expo. Can lockdown drills at schools reduce anxiety over threats? Reality-based training is gaining ground in many U.S. police departments because of its ability to better prepare officers for dangerous situations. It mentions Sandy Hook, Columbine, uh, you know, some drills even invoke mock shooters who yell, bang, it simulates bullets or fire simulations, rounds or blanks from st starting guns, starter pistols, huh? In these drills, police in body armor respond as they normally would, and scenarios range from active shooters to hostage negotiations. Many schools and lockdown drills to existing plans. Many schools add lockdown drills to existing plans for fires and other disasters. And it just is interesting to me. Okay, let's see what it is, some of it here. Y'all go to this site and check it out. An active shooter, what can you do? Um, course, which guides employees and managers on how to prepare and respond to active shooters. The course will run a full spectrum of incidents from pre-incidents to incident, in, incident mitigation. FEMA's Emergency Management Institute is responsible for this program. A 90-minute active shooter webinar which helps public and private sectors employees develop a response plan. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go here and read through this. Um, I'm just going to click through it. But this is, you know, <laughs> You know, we know what, what has happened when they've done these things. Hope everybody's well. God bless. Good luck to us all. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.